Look. Louis V bags for all transactions moving forward At the head of the table so I don't feel I'm cornered You could say it's false but dreams like mine can make you awkward No need for doctors notes to say here's what the patient ordered No line of duty shit but I'll die in a battle Fuck all of the hassle The effort's been put into this so I'm aware of jealousy Hello and welcome back to a brand new season for Dagnum United FC. A 23-24 campaign starts off today at home game against Belfry. You see the starting 11 there. A lot of new players coming into this Dagnum side. Right for the first game. Ready to go. We're looking forward to it. Hey, we got, we got sturdy bench. Sturdy bench. bench coming like um, Real Madrid Galactico. You know that picture in there? Yeah. Ronaldo. Ah, you know, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's get into the game. And it is time for kickoff here at Barking and Dagenham College. Dagenham United FC hosting Belfry FC, as we can see. Early shot there by Belfry, who are playing in their Navy kit. Dagenham in the pink. The two sides have met each other previously in the past, a good few years ago now, back in Div 4, when the two sides were both in the same division together. Remarkable rise for both teams as they've carried on climbing through the leagues. Belfry coming back into Saturday League football after a couple of seasons out. Focusing on their Sunday side, and that's not a bad chance by Max, by the way. Looking to play the ball out there from the midfield. Stepped into that CDM role today. Naturally a centre-back by trade, but doing a job looking to hold it down. And it's a good little play there by Deshaun as well. Not a bad ball over the top. You see Posey, legs for days, just running onto that, hassling and harrying. He's done ever so well there, wins the ball. Adu running back six, just unable to reach it. First chance of the day comes to Dagnum. Falls out, so close. Inches away. Chris has done well there, steps into the midfield from the back. Just gets that first ball away. Belfry looking to press the attack now, see what they can do there. And collected well by Diogo in the middle, just unable to get it through to sees the gap. And that's a strike. But Deflected off the player, but I think the Belfry player may have just been offside here. Let's take a look back at that one. Possible handball there as well. You can see from the strike there, Belfry strikers behind the last defender. Very tight call, but right one made by the referee. Great strike as well, I will say, for the finish. <laughs> <laughs> you can take gal moaning in your ear, but you can't take a man saying Lido. <laughs> Liam there on co commentary, keeping the bench in good spirits. And that's not a bad ball by Chris as well. Fantastic touch by Posey to bring that down. Good little first time ball. Shaq sees a run of Adu out wide. Great finish. And that should be 1 0 Dagnum. Inexplicably, however, the linesman has raised his flag. Awful, awful call, and you'll see it back on the replay. He initially raised it, I think, because he thought Halloween was the player that was going to receive the pass, even though he was onside as well. But we have to roll this one back. Caused a lot of controversy. Posey with a the ball there to Shaq, clearly onside, takes a touch. Adu, all day, three Belfry players playing him onside there. That's a fantastic weighted pass, and Adu with a great finish. Dagnan robbed of a goal there, should be 1-0 up, no question about it. Fair play to the referee, he has apologised after the game and said he made a mistake. It's always going to be hard when you've got our neutral linos, but it is a disappointing call there. And uh, Dagnum just got a little bit rattled from that, if we're being honest. Next 10 minutes or so, really, really affected by that decision. We shouldn't have allowed ourselves to be, but big calls like that can change games, and it really did. We see Dagnum still trying to come forward. George with a decent whip into the box. The shot, a good knockdown. Great block there by the Belfry player. And again, a second one does well to smother the challenges. Looking for the third one. Keepers managed to palm it. Win another good challenge in the box there. Missed times that. That's a penalty, but it was a great tackle. Well in. Heads, how is it? Boss. No, 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 no. Well in Chris. Fucking gas. Fucking gas. Fucking gas. Gas. What? Five eleven in Air Force as well. Look, look on you. Look on you. Look on you. You're a liar. You said you were six foot just now. Can I talk? Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Look, yeah, I went to Fields recently. My boy measured me. Ah, okay. Absolutely fucking not. 
Do you know why he missed that game? All the muscle. This convoluting his mind. <laughs> Spell convoluting. C O N V U L. Search. <laughs> <laughs> Good old JT there, got a bit of banter from the bench. I think he's questioning his own pure gym membership, having a look over at Danver Belfry. But we see Dagnall coming forward on the attack again. Diogo and Ado linking up ever so well. That's a big challenge there as well. The two players combining down that left-hand side. Both players have stepped up from the reserves this season. Done really, really well for them and have earned their spaces in this first team. It just goes to show the pathway is there into first team football. It's not a bad ball, not a bad touch by Halloween as well. Looks to drag out wide, but again, closed down well the first time. The second time, pretty comfortable save from the keeper. Looks to go long this time. Good head there at the back from Chris. Shaq's doing well to hold the player off. George first time ball looking to get forward. Awkward bounce there for both the players. But it's fallen, refs said play on. It's fair, and looking to drive forward now again. Good feet, and that's a little nutmeg. Another little dummy. Really skillful play here. Skipping past the Belfry players. Great ball as well. Slides it through. Hallamin, good save by the keeper. Should have finished that though. That's, that one's got to be buried and we know that. It's a waste of a chance. And Belfry looking to hit on the counter. That's a fantastic touch there by Dan Jordan. Just caught the wrong side. A couple of heavy touches. Shea does well for that first one. Managed to get a good hand of it. Off the post as well. Yogo, poor clearance there. And it's managed to fall out to the edge of the box. Jordan with a strike and Max, so unfortunate there. Pops his head up, looking to just, just clear it away and it's just taking it away from Shea in goal. Looked like it was going to be a fairly comfortable save. And against the runner play, Dagnan find himself 1-0 down. That decision earlier on for that offside goal, like I said, just seemed to shake Dagnan a little bit. And we can see again here, Belfry now taking full advantage of it. Good ball across the box, Shea's missed it. And again, another finish. Far, far too easy to break through there. Just a few moments of absolute madness from Dagnum. And it doesn't get any better. Just a, a few moments later, Dagnum in the attack here. The shine just takes a little bit too long. Gets pickpocketed on the ball. And again, Jordan finds himself out wide. Jordan just beat for pace there. Can't quite get a foot in. A good little step across there. And Chris has brought him down. And it's a penalty. And Dagnum found himself 2 0 down and now giving away a pen. Real 10 minutes of just madness at the moment. Shea does so well to get across there. Good hand on it, just unable to turn that round the post. Not a bad attempt, though. But then now, now look and see how they respond. And that's a great ball win by Chris. And what a header by Shaq as well. Lovely little clip. It's a well-taken free kick here as well by Dagnum. It's a little sweep there from Chris to find Shaq in the box who leaps the highest and it's a, a great header as well. Really difficult to turn and get the direction on that but manages to find the corner of the net. Pull one back for Dagnum. It's now 3-1. Dagnum know now that they've got to start being better, got to start pressing and straight away from the kickoff. You can see here Shaq with a shot, keeper does well to save that again. Pulls back in Halloween. takes too long the first touch. I think that probably should have gone first time and again it's another chance, just goes begging. But shows the urgency now from Dagnum. They know they've got to really start pushing back on. Put that 10 minutes behind them. Did not deserve it. They were playing the better football to start off with. But like I say, just against the run of play. And then Belfry managed to just capitalise. And fair play to them. They, they managed to get the goals they needed. And they're just, not un, just unable to get that one on target. Big ball goes forward there. Jordan contesting for it. Does well just to pop that little header up. Get a little bit scrappy in that corner. But... Great recovery run there by Diogo. Good feet as well. Beautiful little feet. Good little link-up play again. You see Diogo and Adu just got that synergy between them. They just managed to find those spaces. And that's a lovely little ball over of the top as well. Adu again looking to cut the ball back. Falls to Shaq. Sets himself up. Just gets that one all wrong, unfortunately. Leans back too much on the shot. And it's blazed over the bar. And it's half-time. Dagman going. Trailing 3-1. Just that 10 minutes there really, really knocked us back. We know we've got to fix up. Management made a number of subs at halftime. You see Liam coming on there for Halloween. Derek replaces Jordan. And TJ comes on the right-hand wing, replaces Posey. And straight away gets himself involved. Fantastic first touch. Gets a strike off. Keepers managed to palm it away again. 
I tell you right now, by the end of the game, if Belfry's goalkeeper didn't get their man in the match, I don't know what, ge what game they were watching. Stop so many Dagnum attacks. So many vital saves. Another game, Dagnum could easily have had so many more. Add with a great jump there as well. Touches inside. Not a bad ball as well. Keepers managed to collect, however. Dagnum really looking to push forward now. In a decent position. Long ball goes into the box. Not bad at all. Liam looks to get the flick, but it falls to Diogo. Doesn't catch it well enough. And Shaq again. Half strikes it. It just drags it wide to the post. Belfry looking to see if they can come forward now. Tame shot there by Jordan. Shea's made the roll out. Oh, Derek with a poor pass on. He's fallen kindly to the 24. First time strike. Managed to get it on target. Despite Dagnum looking to press and push forward, Belfry managed to nick another goal. Decent finish, to be fair. That's a great strike by Liam. Fantastic save again by the keeper. You see now what I was saying on why he really should be getting man of the match for them. Good ball into the box again. Just unable to finish it at the back post. Dagnum again just allowed another silly goal to go in and now find himself chasing this game. See another sub there as Fritz comes on to replace George at right back. Looks to get that left foot strike off. Defender blocks it. Decent touch by Diogo. Sets himself up. Good palm again away by the keeper. TJ looking to get onto the loose ball. Fritz with a ball in the box. Falls to Shaq. Just unable to judge it. Maybe a little nudge in the back there. Just pushed him off the concentration. Good strength there by Max as well. Plays the ball out wide to Fritz. Lovely, lovely through ball, splitting those defenders, and TJ finds himself through on goal. Oh, it's off the post. Can't believe it. Another sub here for Dagnum as JT comes on to replace Adu. Chris plays the ball out wide to Deshaun. Decent first touch down, just overruns it a little bit, but Dagnum managed to find the ball again. Great knock over the top by Diego. TJ's timed that run to perfection. Good first touch, rounds the keeper, and a simple finish. Dagnum pull one back, making it 4 2. Have a look back at this here. Good feet there by TJ. Just takes it past the keeper. Belfry players complaining for offside. But TJ timed that to perfection. Irony as well. Complaining for, for a goal being ruled offside. Defenders just didn't step quick enough. And TJ, we know how quick he can be. Sees that. Just nicks into that space. Derek does so well there to get the block off. And JT just on that ball. Flying forward down that wing. Looks to set himself up, gets a strike off. Keepers managed another save. Oh, bundled over by the Belfry defender. Absolutely no complaints can be had there. Shaq's done so well to get his body in front of the ball first. Uses his strength and the Belfry players just bundled him over and calmly dispatches the penalty. Dagnum showing great heart and spirit to fight back here. Good pen as well, never in doubt by Shaq. Bottom corner. Just get that ball and go again, boys. Really, really good heart to keep fighting back. Let's have a look at this one here as well. Social media refs can have a good view of this. How on earth? That is not a red card. Violent conduct all day. Makes no attempt to play the ball. Just boots Max in the back of the leg for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Really, really poor. Shame it wasn't noticed on a day fully. I think the player may have received the booking at most, but it's a straight red, let's be honest. Great ball by Fritz as well, Liam. Oh, maybe he was better left, leaving that to Shaq. Finds himself in a better position on the penalty spot. But Dagman really pushing forward now. Looking to tie this game up. No full world on the ascendancy at the moment. Like I said, playing really well in this latter period. And that's ooh, a little coming together and... Unfortunately, we suffered an awful injury there. You can see Liam's gone down. Jamie Fizio quick on scene to help. Unfortunately, he suffered four breaks to the wrist and hand. Everyone here at Dagnan wishes him well and a speedy recovery. Great player, even better lad. Horrible injury. Good little dummy there by Derek and a fantastic ball across as well. Decent first touch, but a little bit too close to him, but skips past him again. Keeper's done so well to come out and smother him. Great vision there by Derek. In football, so often luck just doesn't go your way. And again, you can see here, 
No idea how this has happened. A corner by Belfry, deflected off one of the Dagenham players. Keeper just managed to tip it onto the bar. Twice, in fact. Not sure if it did fully go over the line, but it didn't seem like there was many complaints. And it's just it's one of those days, unfortunately. Luck's not going your way. And it can really, really put you down. That's not a bad ball into the box by Jordan. Keeper's left it. Shaq looks to go for the shot. Defenders blocked it well. And keeper again. Straight to the floor and collects that. Good head there by Max. JT done so well since he's come on. Real hunger and desire in the press. And again, Derek, great vision has set TJ out on this wing. Plenty of space. Not sure where the line is going. Thinks he wants to play as well. But it's a great first time ball. And what a finish by Shaq. That first time ball across the box. We see here TJ, great first time ball and Shaq does so, so well just to guide that one in. Slots it in the bottom. 5-4 now. Dagnum has shown superb heart and superb spirit to keep fighting back. Cannot keep this team down. The grit, determination, unfortunately just left it a little bit too late. And we see Belfry player there just thumps it out. And unfortunately that is the full time whistle. Dagnum so disappointed. Not really sure how we've come away with nothing from this game. 10 minutes just seem to throw us off our stride. Ship three goals and we know we've got to do better than that. But you cannot argue the fact that they came back so much stronger in the second half. Better team in the second half by far. Just really disappointing not to come away with a point at bare minimum. Fair play to Belfry for taking their chances. Wish them best of luck for the season. We'll let the born air tell you how it's gonna go. Like D Rose and all the ballers, I'll just stay afloat. Trust to the head, don't aim below the neck. So watch your step, cause it's my Euros and I'm bound to take it home. We both watching the throne. My rider die and I ain't Bowery. So no, it's gonna be a route to take the longest way home. In the city engrossed in love, still ain't no love for haters on my phone.